Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Jurassic Park. When we left off last time, all kinds of dramatic things happened. Uh, Dr. Sorkin died, Billy freaking betrayed us utterly, but we have his uh, shaving cream can, so ha, suck on that jerk. Now we are attempting to sneak past a Mosasaurus. Just stay close to the pipe. Oops. Uh-oh. We should be fine. There's all these fish everywhere to distract the Mosasaurus. It can eat them. We will just hug the pipe, get to the cave. We'll be golden. Well, silver, because I missed one of the buttons, but still. Uh-oh. Careful, you don't want to lose your oxygen tank. Can, can someone help push her through? Grief, this thing is really stuck, huh? And it's kind of, I don't know, it's clanging a lot. Is that gonna get the Mosasaur? Yeah, that's gonna get the Mosasaur. Just. Okay, I mean, we do have to be careful. Part of me's like, just, just shove it through, but. Uh oh. Uh, what's the plan? <gasps> it's gonna eat me, it's gonna eat me! All right. This is only a temporary solution. Is it going to lose interest? Hmm. Wait, is that the same one that circled around, or is there another one? No, it's, it's the same one. He's going to ram us, isn't he? She. Oops. Oh, well, that's no good. You died. Okay. Alright, we got this. Go ahead, circle around. Alright, so Jerry's good. He's pretty much where we gotta get to, right? Oh, oh! Maybe we can get it stuck. Alright, but how's Nima in the cage? Made it? Okay. We all good, team? Well, not really, but, um... How am I supposed to get there? Okay. I kind of hit it like when the tail was at the highest point and seemed to do the trick. Well, 
It shouldn't be able to fit in there, right? <gasps> Alright. Okay, the X first. All right, team, let's keep moving. That wasn't ideal, because we were supposed to stay calm and, you know, not have bursts of adrenaline and such. Kind of hard to avoid when a Mosasaur is trying to eat you. So hopefully we've got... Okay, yep. I didn't know if it was going to make us next go through, like, an oxygen crisis, but... Jerry? All right, Nima, we're counting on you now. You're the one who knows the way through. Look, by the lighthouse. Yes, that must be it. Okay now, keep in mind guys, probably gonna run up against Billy Yoder again. Wait, I don't see anyone on it. Maybe a dinosaur ate them. Maybe Billy ate them. Oh, okay. guys! Well, well, well. Fortune smiles upon the brave. Hey, Dad! I thought I'd worked everything out. Hadn't accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. But then, I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But, lo and behold, you slippery sons of bitches survived. Wait, 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 wait. Did you... Did you swim out of there? Yes, we did. Bastard. What will your bosses think when they learn that you tried to murder us? Nima, he's gonna keep they trying to murder us. Because one way or another, you're not gonna tell them. I just don't know how we got to this point, Nima. You were the last one of my kind I thought I could trust. No, we're not horrible people, Billy. Betrayal stings, man. I got So some games, like... When you're playing uh, Tales from the Borders, Borderlands, right? It's got this fun kind of atmosphere where everybody's trying to screw over everybody. And so you can get in kind of the, the groove with that and the betrayals don't always sting so much. This betrayal hurts. I didn't think he would turn out this scummy. He's worse than our scummy thief, who actually is... She's she's helped out quite a lot. I'm, I'm feeling better towards Nima than I was before. Um, but she's underestimating him. One way or another. How are your bosses gonna like when they hear about this? No, he's- this man tried to kill us once already. He's gonna keep trying to kill us, Nima. Just didn't start out that way, but we had worked out a mutually beneficial deal! But now, I don't even have that. Bill, you're making a lot of noise. For me is that damn canister. Now hand it over, Missy. No. I don't want to give it to him. I guess I have to. <laughs> that's, that's not what I thought Right Bumper was going to do. That was pretty good. You know, things don't have to be this way. We'll kiss and make up and share this payout just like we planned. And you're going to kill Jerry and Jess? No. There is no more plan. We're leaving without you. Oops. Well, not if I miss the buttons. Oh, come on. Don't make this easy for me. Come on, Nima. You're a merc, just like me. You got bills to pay? Are these two really worth all this? Yeah, it's- a merc doesn't mean I'm a murderer. I am not like you. You are a monster. Worse than the things on this island. No more talk. Shut up and fight. Why? Yeah. Get him, Nima. Oop, shoot. Oh, crap. Okay, um... You know what would be really awesome? If it turned out that Oscar was still alive and he swooped in and saved the day right now. That would be great. I keep hoping some part of me that he, like, managed to not die. <gasps> okay. I'm really sucking at the buttons here. I- this is the ones I hate the most. The hit a button really fast.
Yeah! Oh, nice one. Oh, it got Nima too. I was hoping it just got Billy. Well, help out! Now's your chance, you guys. Wail on Billy while he's down. Get the knife. Oh my gosh, this is agonizing. This one's going so slow. Come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster, faster. Ah, crap, crap. <gasps> oh, there we go. Is that the little thing we're fighting over? Yeah. Oh, huh? What? Oh, jeez. What's that? Please. I can have it? Why? Come so on, come on. All of a sudden. Don't you give it to him, guys. Be the hero? Just like guys, do something. Help her out. You want to break our deal? Do you feel that? Oh my god. Stop! Yeah, you guys have been making a ton of noise. All the dinosaurs know you're here. And Nima, don't like it. You idiot. Make him move. Do it. Do it. There goes your precious can. What you gonna do, Billy? Knew it. Greed wins out. Eat him. Very satisfying. He deserves this. I liked his character at first, too, but man, that guy's a piece of crap. Okay. Jerry and Jess, we gotta get moving. We gotta get to the boat. Uh, what are you gonna do, Jerry? Oh, crap. Well, obviously help Jess. Come on, Nima, you're not a piece of crap. You're a scummy thief, but you're actually a pretty decent person in a lot of ways, too, so... Oh, that's the end of that. Good. <laughs> that's... <laughs> I gotta give him a lot of credit for that, because that would be a terrifying move, to run up to a gigantic creature like that and just smack it with an, a weapon you know is totally going to be ineffectual, just to get its attention. No, I do have to clarify, because I know I was really hard on Nima at first. And I still bear some ill will over the holding us hostage thing, because really we could have avoided a lot of crap if she'd just let us get rescued in the first place. But I do feel like now that she's kind of proven herself along the way. Like, I don't forgive her for that. I think that was still terrible judgment that she did that. But, you know, here, like, I mean, a part of it is because we get to choose, but she refuses to glow along with Billy. She's going to protect Jess. She's going to do the decent thing. She's not going to kill people for the sake of these embryos, so. Oh, oh crap, what now? Can we hide inside it? Yeah, maybe. Keep moving, keep moving, there's gotta be something we can do. Get in, get in. Yeah, get inside. Or go over, I guess that too. Whoops. Oh! <gasps> that was... <laughs> Not more gruesome than being eaten by a dinosaur, I guess, but yikes. Pretty visceral, okay. Alright. 
So up you go. Okay, so this mostly just seemed like a whole bunch of moving back until it finally opens. Alright, now then. Alternating right bumper, left bumper. Man, the game is all about crushing Jerry to death at this point, huh? His head can fit in there? I didn't think he'd be able to. Oh, why? Why is what I'm hitting here? Okay. It happens so fast. Okay, left bumper. And I have to hold. Okay. Kick it on the nose! That, maybe that would make it back off. Alright, I got it. I, I hate that. I hate rapidly push the same button. We did it! Stay off my lawn. Look at him, he's like an angry old man. Get off my lawn, kids! Alright. We did it, team! We made it. Believe me. The whole world is better off without that camp. Yes. Guys? Not me, Joey. Not my daughter. Nima. Guys? Nima, I made a promise. I'll figure something out. Come back to Dallas with us. We'll find a way to get you and your Marikita. Guys! To... What? How much did you say those embryos were worth? No. No. Oh, oh, okay. Just straight money? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Huge problem with smuggling dinosaur embryos. But... Ah, uh, straight money doesn't bother me so much. Because the dinosaur embryos, it's not about the money. It's about the, the potential ecological disaster. Okay, and that's the... Alright! You know, I'm happy with that. Because the whole reason that Nima was a scummy thief in the first place was, you know, because of the situation of her daughter. So she's got good intentions. She's going about solving it the wrong way, but, you know. In in many ways, her heart kind of is in the right place. So here we go. And, you know, even without the money, I really like that Jerry's telling her, well, you know, just come to Dallas and we'll help you work things out. Which is cool. You know, th they've been through this thing together where everybody almost died and we had to pull together to survive. And I imagine that would create, you know, a sort of lasting bond where they could help each other out, you know? So good deal there. I'm hoping that this will help things with Jess and her dad, but I'm not overly confident that it will because he didn't, for the most part, really show any understanding of why she was so upset, but I don't know. Maybe it'll do something for him. That was pretty cool overall. My my only complaint is Oscar. Like, I know it, it, it struck me that when Billy betrayed us, but I can't be mad about that. Like, I, I'm angry at Billy, I'm furious at him, but story-wise, you know, it was an interesting turn. Um, I'm upset about Oscar, though. I really liked Oscar. Even though the game has given us absolutely no basis to think so, and I think it was probably trying to show us pretty clearly that he died, I'm gonna blatantly ignore that and pretend that he only got injured and managed to, like, scrape by alive out from the raptors, and that he's gonna live there on the island, his homeland, since we, hear, we learned that he's from the same tribe as Nima, and he'll just be... The dinosaur whisperer or whatever. 
He's a tough fella. If anyone could live side by side with the dinosaurs, it'll be Oscar. So yeah, I'm going to cling to that, that it didn't show us him dead. So there's that slim chance that he could maybe have survived somehow. I'm pretty bummed if that decaf died too, actually. I just feel bad for him, you know, he's going in, trying to save these people. Although, who knows, maybe he would have ended up a piece of crap like Billy. I understand why Billy got so upset, but it... Like, he's, he's saying that they see him as just grunts, but clearly the people that he's saving at that point don't. We see him as more than. We're upset about... I mean, Sorkin, okay. Maybe she's a little questionable, but... You know, the rest of the team is... Well, and then there's the Nina situation, but... It, <laughs> Jerry and Jess were really grateful for his presence, like, you know, some of the people at least, but instead... Ah, I just wish he hadn't done that. Turned murderous, good grief. I do love the hearing this music. And you know, actually, I overall I did quite enjoy the story as an entry in the Jurassic Park series. I don't know, if this had been a movie, if this had been Jurassic Park 2 instead of the one we have, would I have liked it better? It's hard to tell. I think probably part of what makes this appeal to me more is the active role that I get to have in the story and deciding things. I don't know. If it had been just a movie, would the story be strong enough that it would have entertained? I kind of like this better in some ways, because I felt like the second movie, like, so the first one you have all the dinosaurs and T-Rex and the Velociraptors are obviously, like, the kind of the stars of the show, right? So then the second one, it seemed like they're, th and, and the Jurassic World as well, they each feel like, oh, we have to somehow one-up having a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's go Spinosaurus, and then let's go, oh, we can do an Indominus Rex. Like, could we stop trying to make more and more wild dinosaurs. You just need just successive stories on the island with the dinosaurs you had in the first one. That's all you really need. Oh, I was hoping there'd be a little epilogue. It would have been really cool if they'd shown like a little scene with Oscar. He's still alive. Okay. But no, that's the end of it. That was pretty fun. I do have to say that having played more recent Telltale games, I prefer what they've how it goes in the more recent one. Less of the, the quick time events. I'm not a huge fan of them. Like, I don't hate them, but they do kind of catch me off guard and sort of break the flow of the story a bit. So I think they're, they're, they're obviously refining things as they go. I think they've got it pretty well down at this point. All the more recent games I've played have been just a ton of fun. So, but this was, this was good to go back and see some of their earlier stuff. And I'm going to continue. I've got, um, what's it? Back to the Future as well. I've got the Strong Bad game. So, yeah, I think we're going to continue with some more Tall Tale. I'm going to go ahead and wind this episode down here. Close down this LP. It's done. Uh, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Head on back to the channel. There's a whole bunch of other LPs you can check out. More Tall Tale. And, uh, yeah, keep an eye out. There's going to be more of the old Tall Tale stuff to come. I will get to the new stuff as well. Like, the, I know the Batman just came out. But I don't like playing one episode at a time and having the, the break in between the releases. It, it breaks immersion in the story for me. So I will wait until the full game is released before I play that one.